I am back. What do I have planned for today? Keep watching. Welcome to another edition of Luxury Makeup by Bernie. Today's video, we reviewed makeup from Givenchy. We played with the Givenchy Prism Libre Skin Carrying Glow Foundation. And we also used the powder, the setting powder. This setting powder is quite interesting. I was wondering how it was going to work out. But if you want to see how it worked out, how I got this look right here, what you're going to have to do is keep watching. Other than that, I'm going to stop talking and we can get into this video. Until next time, please be safe. Bye. Hi, people. Welcome to my channel, Bernie Playing With Makeup. My name is Bernadette. All my friends and subscribers call me Bernie. So if you have not yet subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to turn that notification bell. That way you will be notified every time I upload new videos just like this. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for your support. It is truly appreciated. Today's video is another luxury foundation review. We will be reviewing this foundation here from Givenchy. This is the Givenchy Prism Le Bois Skin Caring Glow Foundation. This foundation does come in 30 shades, it looks like, and it retails for $49. You get the standard one fluid ounce. I have it in the shade 6W430. I am hoping that that is gonna be the right shade. Uh, my tan is starting to fade away a little bit. I haven't been back outside in about a week or a little bit over, maybe a little over a week. Just so we don't forget, I have already done my skincare routine. As you know, if you're not new to my channel, I tend to do my skincare routine about 45 minutes or so before I'm getting ready to put some foundation on. I've been saying in several videos that I've stopped putting my SPF on just before I'm about to film. So I've been doing that as a reminder to you guys that we need SPF. So I did go ahead and put my SPF on already. Today's SPF is this SPF right here from Too Faced. And this is the Hangover RX Good To Go Skin Protecting SPF 25 Moisturizer. This one is significantly less than the one that I normally show you guys. It is a good alternative to that one from Lancome if you're looking for an alternative. It doesn't matter what SPF you use, as long as you're using SPF, especially my melanated brothers and sisters, but everyone in general, we need to use SPF to protect our skin from sun damage. That said, we are gonna jump right into this video. The description of this is that it's quite a glowy foundation. I'm using my Dacia Silk Canvas, and this is in the liquid form. Leave so by cast. Yeah, rub it in good. It does leave that cast. I'm trying to figure out which day will be the day when I upload my luxury foundation reviews. So that particular day will be luxury foundation review day. I am heavily leaning towards Wednesday. But I would love to hear you guys thoughts and opinions on that so I may end up putting a poll up so we can see if Wednesday is a good day I'll give you maybe two options either Wednesday or Saturday as you can hear my voice is still very much on the fritz I don't know what's going on with it but it's progressively getting worse I don't feel sick or anything it's just I'm losing my voice my hubby says because I talk too much that's what he said. I said, you're always talking. No, I don't normally show you this, right? So it is 126. I'm about to put this foundation on. I am gonna try and give you guys a wear test. You guys know I tend to go for a seven hour wear test. So I'm gonna try to give you a wear test today, considering it's not, it's not 130 yet. So some information about this foundation. As I said, it does come in 30 shades. It retails for $49. 
and it is described as a scut. What the heck? <laughs> it's described as a skin loving foundation that delivers light, buildable coverage with skincare benefits. The coverage is light, the finish is radiant, and it's a liquid foundation. It is made of glycerin from plants that provides 24 hour hydration. It also has something I can't pronounce. Nasturtium. It also has nasturtium extracts that provides up to 24 hour glow. And it has oil derived from coconut that comforts the skin. So this really is going to be a glowy foundation. We can let Siri read what else you need to know. Okay, because my voice, as you can tell, is just not here. Foundation meets skincare as hydration and a look of flawless coverage blend into this one innovative formula. The complexion has the look of perfection with a sheer, buildable finish, providing a radiant makeup result with up to 12 hours of glow. Hydrating, smoothing ingredients work to improve skin quality over time with regular use. One thing we can look at description over and over it says that it is a hydrating and a glowy foundation. So boy, we're about to see how this is gonna work out. My skin type is or is combination. It's usually oily T-zone and the perimeter is normal. However, lately my skin type has been my skin has been dry like the Saharan Desert, but it's the skincare products from Biosense, the hydration, my skin, has, my skin is returning back to its normal state, which means it is getting closer to an oily T zone as well as the perimeter being more normal. But we're about to find out. This is what this bottle looks like. It is absolutely beautiful. I love the bottle. Y'all know I normally don't like break up packaging, but it's pretty. It has the little Givenchy logo right here and the name of the foundation here. And on this side, it says Givenchy. It actually reminds me of Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation, which is what I, I'm gonna put this up against. I have noticed since coming back that we've had quite a few new Bernie babes. And I just want to take this time out to say thank you. I hope you are enjoying the content and please make sure you share the videos with your friends. This has a pump, which is an absolute for me. Like foundations but don't have pumps, I'm always cool on them. I'm going to start with a light coverage. I didn't know it was light coverage to be honest, but it's a light coverage. I'm gonna start off with a few pumps. That's what I'm starting off with. That's about four pumps. Going to be a really good fit for my face, but my neck and the rest of my body, I don't know. Even though I am reviewing luxury makeup, I think I'm gonna put it on with a affordable brush. This is the brush, this brush is from NYX. This is this is also like a multitasking brush. This is the number 08. You've seen me use this before. So yeah, definitely a great match for my face. So a good summer shade. A month ago, this would have been too dark for me. It has a scent. If you're sensitive to scent, what is this now? Because I'm smelling something. I think it's this. It has a scent. If you're sensitive to skin, to skin. It has a scent. So if you are sensitive to scent, keep that in mind. It blended in right into my skin. Right here is where we have foundation on. And then over on this side, 
we don't have foundation on yet. We do have a guest. Very, very disrespectful. I went to sleep yesterday during the daytime because I wasn't feeling well. And when I woke up, homegirl had decided she was gonna pay me a visit. My sister was like, how did you get that pimple on your face? I don't normally get break, breakouts unless I'm doing something. If I add something onto my skincare routine, a medicine or something like that, that's when I'll get a breakout. Even from when I was like during my teen years, the times when you know you go through breakouts, I never got them. So whenever anyone in my family see me with a breakout, it is a big deal. They trying to figure out what's going on with you. So I don't know what what she had to bring, but she's being very disrespectful because she knew I was gonna be filming this video today. I know I say this quite often because it's true, but this foundation feels like air. It truly does. I think this foundation launched last year. If you watch YouTubers who are dedicated just to luxury makeup reviews, you would have seen this all over those channels when this launched. This is the coverage I'm getting what I went in with initially. What I want to say is one pump. It is a light coverage foundation, but it says you can build it up. I'm going to try and build it up a little bit more. The finish is definitely radiant as it's described. 30 shades is not bad, but I would like to see luxury brands be a little bit more inclusive in their shade range. I think it's become accepted now that we're looking for 35 to 40 shades so that everybody is covered. So while 30 shades for a luxury brand is, is, is decent, there is definitely room for improvement in the darker shades, in the darker range. I'll put the chart of it on screen so you can see how it's distributed. You can see the difference between my chest and my face in terms of the shade match. I don't know if this was the kind of finish that Rare Beauty was going for because Rare Beauty Foundation, it is really, 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 really luminous and radiant, except it, you don't know how to put that one on, you definitely need to set the primer before you go in with the foundation. This is radiant and I don't feel like it's overly radiant. I don't feel like my face is glowing, shining. If there's any glow, it looks like a healthy glow. For a foundation that says the coverage was light, I feel like I have a decent amount of coverage. I think I did pump out about four pumps. And I wanna say I used three and a half, three and a quarter pumps. So I am satisfied with the coverage. The finish, my initial thoughts, it is exactly what it says. It is a radiant finish. So if you have oily skin, this foundation is definitely one you want to think twice before you drop that $49 to get because it is definitely radiant. Not dewy, not shiny, but radiant. The, the prism label it, which I, I'm, I'm saying it in Creole, okay? But the prism label it, <laughs> but the prism label it line, they didn't launch a foundation, but I did find a, they didn't launch a foundation. Really run that? Oh, yes. With the prism label foundation, they didn't launch a concealer, 
but I found a concealer from Givenchy. This is the Tint Contour Eyewear Concealer. It is a radiant concealer for 24 hour wear. If you saw my haul video, you saw this already. And as you can see, this right here is quite Caucasian. I have shade number 32. Their concealer, especially in this line, the shade range is horrible. I'm just gonna say it. You guys know I'm gonna say how it is. The shade range is horrible. There isn't much shades for deeper skin tones. I am gonna swatch this because I'm going to use it. I'm gonna find a way to apply it. So I'm gonna swatch it. See just how light it is. So that's it there. I'm gonna try to find the lightest foundation I like. What's wrong with me? I'm gonna try to find the lightest concealer I have and put this up against it to give me an idea of how this is gonna look. Okay, so the hot, the lightest thing I, I came up with is this one here from Bobbi Brown and the shade of it is golden. That's the name of it. One on the top is the one from Bobbi Brown and the one on the bottom is the one from Givenchy. So the one on the top is golden and it is a bit lighter than the one from Givenchy. So because of that, I'm not gonna use the Givenchy. I'm going to use a little bit of it, a tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to use my Pat McGrath Concealer. I might have done a tutorial, tutorial, and God only knows how long, but has anyone been trying applying their concealer this way, I guess what you call the new way, instead of how we used to do it? When I first saw it, honestly, I saw it on TikTok during my hiding. <laughs> I can't speak English today. I saw it on TikTok during my hiatus and I was quite skeptical of it, but I have been doing it and been loving that lifted effect it gives my face. One thing with this Pat McGrath concealer is a little bit goes a long, long way. You don't need to come in with too much of it. The one from Givenchy was I have all these creams. I have a lot of creams. Put just a tiny bit of it in the middle. So normally I would do this the other way. I would put the lighter, um, I'll put the lighter concealer everywhere else. And in the middle, I would put the dark one. When you contour using my Uma Beauty stick, I normally speed through this because it really is nothing new, nothing different. So I speed through it. I'm gonna use this brush here from ABH. It's a foundation brush, but it feels like a really small foundation brush. And it does remind me of the Pat McGrath foundation brush that I, that I like to use to contour with. And that brush is dirty right now. All right, I contoured, concealed it off camera. Camera went off. So I'm like, all right, fine, I'm just gonna put that out anyway. I'm contoured, concealed, and ready to move on to setting my face. Two concealers, they blended in very easily. I like the shade, they created together. I may end up trying to see if she wants she have the shade that's closer to my skin tone. Start setting my face. I'm gonna be using this right here, and it's from Givenchy also. This is the Givenchy Prism Liquid Loose Powder, and this retails for fifty-eight dollars. How much product do you get in this? Hefty. I was interested in this powder ever since it launched. I mentioned it in my haul video. 
By the way, if you haven't seen the haul video yet, it's going to be linked in the cards above. So right after you see this video, you can go ahead and watch that video. If you are not yet a burning babe, now is a great time for you to stop and give this video a big thumbs up. That does help me here on YouTube. And also become an official burning babe by hitting that subscribe button below. Turn on the notification bell. That way you will be notified every time I upload new content just like this back to our regularly scheduled program. As I was saying, I was quite interested in this powder here. I mentioned in my haul video that this has three different shades in one compact. What I'm gonna do is, let's see if Siri can help us to understand exactly what this powder is supposed to do. I need my water. Guys, I am so really dehydrated. My third one is 224. This is my third one. Okay, so back to the description of what this powder is supposed to do. It's a setting. What do you do? How we call it? Change the oil. Call in to make your cameo there. Yeah. You okay? Everything okay? Huh? Everything okay? Yeah, yeah. Oh. I gotta go. Hey. Love you. Okay, bye. So, again, this powder, I need to set under my eyes that are creasing up already. It's the setting and loose powder designed to modify, blur, and illuminate the complexion for a perfect makeup result. Now, I'm already intrigued, confused, and bewildered with the description of what it does. So it modifies and illuminates. The highlighted ingredient in this is vitamin E, which is an antioxidant that protects, an antioxidant protection to resist caking or settling, settling into fine lines. Sounds perfect, right? It's not supposed to be cakey. It's not supposed to settle into your fine lines. As for what else you need to know, we're gonna save my voice and we're gonna let Suri help us out here. Each shade of Prism Libre combines four unique colors, two for color correction and two for radiance. They work together upon application to address the needs of your individual skin tone, ranging from fair to deep. The result is a more even complexion with a transparent, second skin finish. Prism Libre locks in makeup with a sheer, mud finish that feels natural and weightless on the skin. The soft, ultra-refined powder instantly blurs imperfections, reducing the appearance of pores and minimizing texture in the complexion. Okay, now, based on how this is supposed to be applied, I don't think I'm going to use this under my eyes. I just don't think, I don't see how it's going to work under my eyes. And also, I think the shade I have is too dark for me because the model, Sharon, remember her from America's Next Top Model? She got eliminated on the first elimination. Now look at her. Mm -hmm. Just look at her. They said everything in its time. So I'm going to set underneath my eyes using another powder and then we're going to come back and set the rest of my face using the technique that she wants she says my first thing with this puff i hope they have replacements you can buy is this puff is going to get dirty quick and i can't stand using anything dirty i have ocd packaging wise i wish it had a stopper so you're supposed to put it between your fingers like this and then press it into here. Shake one, two. Like they say, I know how to follow instructions. But this is all, you can't even see it, right? Can you? This is all that came out from that shake. So maybe I need to make my shakes a little bit more forceful. So I'm gonna shake it. I think that's what they meant. It's white so you guys can't really see it with the, with the studio lights and everything. You can't see it as well. 
So once you've done this, according to them, you're supposed to just press it. Honestly, you have to do a lot of pressing to move that she going she stamp that they have on it. I'm mad at it. I can definitely see it modifying that I can see for sure. Normally the areas where I contour are normally like all luminous. Now I'm gonna take it and go under my eyes. Modifying definitely skin blurring looking definitely she is just so moon I love it it's blurring it is modifying I don't see the the it's supposed to be able to illuminate I don't see the luminosity yet I don't understand the concept behind it but I think I like it so We've used all of the new stuff that we're reviewing. I'm gonna pop off camera, I'm going to finish my face, and I'm gonna come back and show you what our final look looks like. And we're gonna talk a little bit more about the products we used from She Gon She. I'll see you in a minute. Okay guys, I am back and this is our finished look. Now exactly 3.59, we started at 1.30. I think I completed everything, I wanna say maybe an hour or so ago. Just to let you know what I used, on my lids, I used a liquid eyeshadow, and I also got some assistance from this palette right here from Pat McGrath. I think this was released January 2020. On my lips, I have this hair on from Rare Beauty. I don't know the name of it, but this is what I have on my lips. And that's what I use. That's how I created this look. Now let's talk about it. I must say, once you use the powders, and as you saw, I did use their powder. I must say, I'm not seeing as much a luminosity as I was expecting to see. And that's a good thing. I feel like it's there, it is luminous. It, you just have, I feel like you have just the right amount of luminosity. It's not matte, it's not shiny, it, it's, it has a healthy glow, almost like a glow from within, and I am living for that. The powder, I'm still a bit confused. The powder is supposed to be a modifying powder, and it's also supposed to illuminate. What I'm seeing from my first impressions of it is the modifying part of it. I feel like it definitely modified my face. It gave me a nice blur, which I am loving. So, so far, that's what I'm seeing from the powder. Now, I guess we're gonna see just how modifying and how illuminating this powder is as the rest of the day goes on and I wear it. Then we'll be able to tell, okay, so this is what you mean when you said you it illuminates. Other than that, I'm quite happy with the products for now. This is my initial impressions. We got to see what this foundation and powder are gonna do as I continue to wear it. Hi guys, I'm back and it is 7.40, 7.40. We started, I put this on at 1.30 today. But I'm in a lot of pain. I was going to try to go for a little bit later, but I'm in excruciating pain and I need to get some meds in my body and to get this makeup off. As you can see, we can definitely see the oils peeking through. I will tell you this though, in person, the areas where I'm oiliest is my T-zone. 
right here on both sides is oily and also looks on this side here like some product might have left i did have a mask on just remember that i had a mask on for a nanosecond i had to run out i had to put a mask on so i'm assuming that's what moved the product from right here you can see that the product lifted and on this side too it looks like it did the same thing so that was the mask having worn it now since one o'clock it definitely looks radiant i think i mentioned that before i left that as the foundation wore i expected to see the radiance coming through and i believe that i'm seeing it you guys know i'm going to tell you the tea i'm gonna give i'm gonna be real i don't care if it's high end i don't care if it's Givenchy. i don't care who it is your foundation perform the product perform how it perform and that's what i'm gonna say it is a glowy foundation i think this would be a great foundation for someone whose skin type is dry i think you will really love this foundation if your skin type is dry is dry it's 30 it has 30 shades i believe and i know luxury makeup tends not to have a wide shade range but that gucci foundation they had 40 which was excellent Pat McGrath has, I think, 36, which is great. So I think it's time for luxury brands to understand that melanated women and men, I'm not judging, would like to try your products as well. So that's my biggest critique with this foundation. I will be reaching for again, especially when I'm looking for light coverage, but I want a little bit more than tinted moisturizer. That's my best way of describing this, the concealer. It's hard for me to really review this concealer just because I really wasn't able to wear the concealer. The concealer is supposed to be a crease, it's a, it's a radiant 24 hour concealer. It's supposed to be crease free and has all kinds of claims on it. It's unfair for me to try and give you guys a review of it because I only used a little bit of it. The other product I reviewed was this, which I was very, very interested in seeing how it performs considering it's one, it is one container with four different shades in it. One thing that I was a bit confused about is that it says that it modifies as well as illuminates. So you're a bit confused, are you a modifying powder or an illuminating powder? And I think I get what they mean. It is not extremely matte, so you're not gonna get that dry, dry look that you can sometimes get from setting powders. It, mod it, gives you, it modifies your face just enough while still having a little bit of radiance. It does blur imperfections and it definitely helps with pores. Areas where my pores are, it's right around here and here. And looking at it, I can definitely say I feel like it definitely, it helped to reduce the appearance of the pores that I do have and that this does not settle into fine lines. I think it's a beautiful combination. So I love this powder. This is definitely a powder that will be appearing on Bernie Plant with makeup frequently. This is a luxury makeup review, $58. Now, do you need to go and spend $58 on, on upsetting powder? Of course not. But for a luxury setting powder, I think I want to say this is my favorite luxury setting powder to date. I like this even more than I like the Laura Mercier. Yes, I just said that. Miss Laura, I still got your back. You know we go way back. So I got your back. Now we're going to see how easy it is to bring these oils under control and see how our face will look once we blot. As per usual, there's no product on this, on this brush just whatever's left off of it from today when I originally used it. I like to start off in the areas that are the most oiliest, which is gonna be right around here. And I'm gonna move to that shiny forehead we're looking at. And now I'm just gonna go around the perimeter. And you can tell from the smile on my face, from what you're seeing hopefully on camera, that that's all it took. This looks like I just applied it. I look like I am ready to go to the club. 
it's Friday and I'm ready to go to the club, except it is eight o'clock and curfew is nine o'clock. So I'm at the club right now, <laughs> okay? This definitely does what it says it was going to do. You guys know I say this in every foundation review video that I do. You're going to have to blot, okay? Get over it. You're going to have to blot. The question is, do I need to be blotting two hours in? Is this foundation gonna clock out? The foundation and the powder, I absolutely love this combo. I'm looking forward to trying this powder with other foundations and seeing how it works. We've reached the end of the video, guys. As always, thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I do appreciate it. Before you leave, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. If you are not yet a Bernie babe, I don't know what you're waiting on. Go ahead, make it official, hit that subscribe button, turn on the notification bell, that way you will be notified every time I upload new content just like this. As always guys, please be safe and I'll see you in my next video.